welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you saw by the title, today's video is going to be another Trader Joe's grocery haul. I feel like it has been a minute since I have filmed one of these hauls for you guys, and this is going to be a relatively large grocery haul. We are restocking our fridge at our new place, so I picked up a bunch of our healthy staples. I picked up ingredients to make quick and easy meals throughout the week, quick and easy lunches, so I hope this grocery haul gives you some inspo or some ideas on what to pick up on your next Trader Joe's haul. This haul is for two people, me and my husband, and I will let you guys know all the prices for each item as always and I will also let you guys know how much I spent for this entire grocery haul at the end of this video so stay tuned for that again I am all about quick and easy meals so a lot of the things I did pick up are very meal prep friendly they are keto friendly low carb high protein so again lots of fun things in this haul and if you enjoyed today's video I would love for you to hit the subscribe button it really does help out my channel and also make sure to like this video in my description, I will also leave a playlist of all my Trader Joe grocery haul videos, so feel free to binge those next. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this haul. So here is my first bag. The first thing I picked up are just some great tomatoes. Love making omelets. I throw these in my sandwiches. They're perfect for avocado toast. I will make stir fry with this, and I will also throw this in some pasta. So, grape tomatoes are always a staple for us, and this is like $2.99. The next thing I got is some coffee. I do really like the ground coffee at Trader Joe's. This is the organic fair trade wake up blend ground coffee. If you have seen any of my recent what I eat in a day videos, you guys might know I recently switched over to pour over coffee, so I really like using this for my pour over. I mean, sorry not pour over, French press. I switched over to French press and this is the coffee that I have been enjoying for my French press. Next thing I got is just some mandarin, high in vitamin C. I also throw this in my lemon ginger shots just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. So this is always a staple for us. This two pound bag is like $3.99 around that price. I got an avocado. I did get this organic potato medley. I did also pick up some steak somewhere in here, so I think this will be perfect to just throw in the air fryer with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, some garlic, have it with some roasted veggies. So, love having potatoes with my protein. The next thing I picked up is the organic vodka sauce. I pick this up all the time. You will see later in this haul, I did pick up my cauliflower gnocchi, so I love pairing that with this some mozzarella, the Trader Joe's jalapeno chicken sausage, and some mozzarella. It's so good, it makes a quick 20 minute dinner that is on the healthier side. I picked up some of the Trader Joe's sriracha sauce. I literally put this in everything, and all my rice bowls, and my dumplings, my omelet, so this is a staple. I picked up some organic ginger for my lemon ginger shots. I do like to prep my lemon ginger shots at the beginning of the week, and that pretty much lasts me the entire week. So that is something I am going to make later today. And for my lemon ginger recipe, it's literally just ginger, lemon, I throw in one mandarin just to sweeten it up, some water, some apple cider vinegar, turmeric powder, and black pepper. All very easy, simple ingredients. I throw it in a blender, I run it through a strainer, and it's ready to go in the fridge for about five days. I picked up some organic ground cinnamon. I put cinnamon in my coffee. Also great for inflammation, so I love throwing this wherever I can in my oatmeal, um, on my peanut butter toast, with some banana and peanut butter, so cinnamon, also a staple. I also picked up some creamy no stir peanut butter spread just to have on hand. I also love getting the Trader Joe's Asian noodles and adding in about half a tablespoon of this into my um, noodle mixture just to add in a little bit more protein, give it a little bit more flavor. So love having peanut butter on hand. I picked up the Inner Peas Chip Mix. I haven't tried this at Trader Joe's, but I do love these. They're just a great low calorie snack. I'm gonna try one right now, but Here's how it looks like inside. This is like $1.99, so it's a guilt-free chip to have throughout the weekday, but really good. Mm. Not too salty. It says 22 pieces of this is 130 calories, so it is on the low calorie side. I picked up some crushed red pepper. I put this on everything. 
I love my food spicy, so anytime I'm cooking something, 90% of the time there is probably crushed red pepper. I go through this so fast. I picked up some tuna just to have on hand for a quick weekday lunch. I like pairing this with a little bit of cauliflower rice or some white rice, some spicy mayo, and some seaweed, and it's really good. Top it with avocado, you have a quick and easy lunch. And then I picked up one sweet potato. And that's everything in this first bag. All right, moving on to the second bag. I have my cauliflower gnocchi here. This is in the frozen section. Again, I have picked this up so many times. It makes such a quick and easy dinner. I literally throw this on the pan with a little bit of olive oil, toss it with some of the chicken apple sausage and some of the vodka sauce. And then I actually transfer it to a casserole dish and then I bake it with some mozzarella and it's just so, so good. The next thing in here is some orange chicken. This lasts me and my husband about two dinners, so I love having this on hand just for days where I really don't feel like cooking. I throw in some frozen broccoli and then I have this with rice. It's, again, a very quick and easy dinner. Like I said, the theme here is all about quick and easy meals. Both me and my husband have a very busy schedule, so I unfortunately don't have as much time in the kitchen as I would like to, so I like to pick meals that are ready to go. The next thing I got from the frozen section is the Kung Pao chicken. And again, I love adding in frozen broccoli to this or fresh broccoli just to add in more veggies to this dish. And again, this will probably last me and my husband two dinners. Really good with some white rice and then some sriracha. So honestly, all the frozen Asian goodies at Trader Joe's, you really can't go wrong with them. I feel like they're all really good. I've tried pretty much almost every Asian food in the frozen section and they have yet to disappoint. The next thing we got is some New England clam chowder. This just goes really well with a sandwich or some sourdough bread for a quick lunch. Pair it with a side of salad, so love getting this. And then I got the mozzarella cheese to pair with my cauliflower gnocchi dish. And then my husband picks this up in every haul. It's his guilty pleasure, but it is the chicken tikka masala. We picked up two of these. Each container is about 360 calories and it has 21 grams of protein, so not too bad. They are pretty flavorful. Obviously, they don't compare to the real thing, but when you're in a time crunch and you want to reach for something really quick, that is what my husband will reach for. Next thing I got is some ground turkey. This is actually for our dog, Gavin. I do also meal prep his food. Just some ground turkey, a sweet potato, some frozen peas and carrots, and I pretty much just cook that all in a pot until it's cooked down, and then I do half and half with his kibble mix. The next two things I got in here are the Synergy Kombuchas and this is my favorite flavor. This is the Trilogy flavor, and this is my first time picking this one up. It is the Peach Paradise, but again, I just love picking up kombucha. It's so good for you. It's so good for your gut health. It's good for your digestion. This has so many living probiotics, and I feel like it is a great soda substitute. It is low calorie, and it's just, it's really good for you. I don't drink the whole bottle. I drink about half a bottle each day, so this really honestly stretches out to close to a week, so. Love getting this. And the last thing in the second bag is just some grilled chicken strips. I love having ready cooked chicken ready to go in the fridge. I just pair this with a salad or I will throw this with some soyaki, have it over rice. Again, quick and easy, protein ready to go. This is perfect for weekday lunches. And that's everything in the second bag. All right, moving on to the next bag have my receipt right here, which I will let you guys know how much everything is at the end. If you're at this point now, I am very curious to see how much you think I have spent so far, but to be honest, I feel like I really love Trader Joe's. I feel like they have a great value for their food. You get good quality food at an affordable price. So for me, it really works for us. But again, stay tuned to the end where I will share how much we spent on everything this week. This will actually last us about two weeks, but Next thing in here is just some baby spinach. This entire bag is like $1.69. I will throw this in my pasta. I will throw this in my omelets. It's just so nice to have it. I'll throw it in my rice bowl, so that's a staple here as well. And then the next thing I have here are just some cage-free eggs. Again, eggs are a staple. I love making omelets. I will make little egg muffins with these. I love making tomato eggs during the weekday. It's just 
so warm, so comforting. I've talked about it all the time. I literally just saute a ton of tomatoes with some egg, throw in a little bit of some cornstarch and water just to kind of thicken it up, add a little bit of soy sauce, some ginger, top it over rice. It's literally so, so good. Such a comforting meal. But um, yeah, just making sure none of them were cracked. And then the next thing I got is the Elote Chopped Salad Kit. This is a vegetable blend with cornbread, crouton crumbles, cotija cheese, and a creamy Elote style dressing. I have picked this up before. This is really good. This honestly lasts me about two lunches, and I love pairing this with the real chicken strips to have lunch for two days. That literally takes me five minutes to put together, if even that. So love these together. Next thing I got is just some frozen broccoli. I like getting a mix of fresh vegetables and frozen vegetables just so it doesn't go bad. Like I said, it is just me and my husband and it does take us a while to go through all these groceries. So definitely love mixing it up with the fresh produce and the frozen produce. Sorry if you hear a dog crying. That is Gavin. Gavin, what's wrong? Come here, Gavin. You want to say hi to the video? He's like right next to me crying. He's like, mom, what are you doing? attention <laughs> you're almost done with this haul next thing in here is just some uncured dry rub bacon this is a staple for us my husband loves his bacon so we go through this pretty fast honestly and then the last thing in this bag is just some organic for some vegetable medley this does have let's see corn green peas carrots and green beans and this is what I use for Gavin's meal prep our dog that's it in the third bag. So we have just a few more items. Next thing I got is the organic seaweed snack pack. There is six in here and I go through this so fast. It's so good. I love having this in my tuna rice bowls. I love having this with pokey. I love, honestly, I love snacking on this. I will also give some to my dog. He is absolutely obsessed with this. And like each pack is 30 calories. So I will literally snack through like two packs at a time it's just so good next thing we got is some white cheddar corn puffs just to, to have as a snack throughout the week i feel like these are pretty low calorie in comparison to like hot cheetos this is so about 53 of these little pops is 140 calories so it's a guilt-free snack for us to have during the week Next thing I got is the braised beef roast with demi glaze. I haven't picked this up before, but I thought that this would go well with the mini potatoes that I got that I showed earlier and some roasted vegetables. So this is, again, it's going to be a quick weeknight dinner. It's already cooked and I'll just show you guys how much meat comes in here. So that's a pretty big portion of meat, if you can tell. And I think this was about, I wanna say maybe about $15. And the next thing I got is some blueberries. Love having blueberries with Greek yogurt, some honey, and a little bit of cinnamon. Whenever I am craving something sweet, that is like my go-to snack, or I will literally make that sometimes right after having dinner just to kind of satisfy my sweet cravings. So I love having blueberries. I also give blueberries to my dog. It's really good for them. And then the last thing are some strawberries. Just for snacking, love having strawberries on hand. And that is everything I got in this haul. This is probably going to last me and my husband, honestly, maybe about 10 to 12 days, maybe close to two weeks if we're pushing it. We do eat out, I wanna say maybe one to two times a week. So this is definitely going to last us a while. Oh, actually, I have one more thing, almost forgot. The last thing I got is some sparkling water so this is the last thing i got this is the sparkling water at trader joe's this is the blueberry lemonade i love having this it's zero calorie i actually like having that for the weeknights when i make my sleepy girl mocktail i add in a little bit of magnesium powder and some cranberry juice and it's so good it just knocks me out but that is everything i got in this haul i have my receipt right here and the total for everything came out to $150.32. So I definitely think for everything we got, I do think that was a pretty good value. Again, this should last us about close to two weeks, if two weeks. That's everything in today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's haul. I hope today's haul gave you some ideas on what to pick up on your next Trader Joe's run or just some meal ideas to make this upcoming week. And again, I will have a whole playlist of all my other Trader Joe grocery hauls in my description below. So. Feel free to binge those next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.
Bye.